MSNBC's Joe Scarborough denounced Senator John Kennedy's questioning of one of President Joe Biden's nominees to serve as controller of the currency. Cornell University law professor Sol Omarova, who Kennedy suggested was a communist sympathizer because she was born in Soviet-controlled Kazakhstan. Take a look at the MSNBC clip. I just I wanted to ask you that question. Senator, I was born and grew up in the Soviet Union. Yes, ma'am. But were you a member of that organization? Everybody in that country was a member of the Komsomol, which was the communist youth organization. Because so, so you that were, was you were a member? That was a part of normal progress in school. Have you resigned? From the youth? From the young communists? You grow out of it with age, automatically. Did, did you did you did you send them a letter though resigning? Senator, this was many many years ago. As far as I remember, how the Soviet Union worked was at a certain age you automatically stop being a well, member. Could, of the could you look at your records and see if you can find a copy? <clears throat> I don't mean any disrespect. I, I don't know whether to call you professor or comrade. Oh, my goodness. Senator, I'm not a communist. I do not subscribe to that ideology. I could not choose where I was born. I did not, I do not remember joining any Facebook group that subscribes to that ideology. I would never knowingly join any such group. There is no record of me ever actually participating in any Marxist or communist discussions of any kind. My family suffered under the communist regime. I grew up without knowing half of my family. My grandmother herself escaped death twice under the Stalin regime. This is what seared in my mind. That's who I am. I remember that history. I came to this country. I'm proud to be an American. And this is why I'm here today, Senator. I'm here today because I'm ready for public service. A few things Oh, my there. God. I just... a, a few things. Um, you might look at that and think that Senator Kennedy is stupid. Uh, no, oh. he's not. He knew exactly what he was doing. He went to Oxford. This is going around in the Republican Party, people with Ivy League degrees, people that went to Oxford tried to play as dumb as possible for the cameras. Uh, they're not fooling anybody. That was just as cynical and hateful uh, of a spectacle, attacking somebody because they were born in a totalitarian, under a totalitarian regime, one of the most evil regimes in the history of, of this planet, and they're attacking somebody for having the, the, the horrible misfortune for being born under that regime and being indoctrinated from a young age. And he is trying to use that uh, against somebody who came over here. You know, you could have said the same thing about Solzhenitsyn, about Sakharov, about Gary Kasparov, the greatest dissidents in the history of the Soviet Union who went through the same thing because they indoctrinate little children. And here you actually have an American senator in the United States of America who is actually trying to attack a woman because her parents had the misfortune of being born in one of the most brutal regimes in the history of mankind and that they indoctrinated her as a little girl. And he's trying to use that against her. And a woman who chose to leave yeah. And move here. And look and what she's here. done with her. What, what incredible uh, accomplishments in her life. And now wanting to serve. Serve have America. Be, have served seen, up that? Have we seen an attack like that since McCarthy? This was sick. This was really hard to watch. It, it, it made it, me want to cry. I've, I've the Office of the Controller of the Currency is one of a handful of federal agencies that regulates different parts of the financial system. It oversees about two-thirds of the nation's banking system. Omarova's previous criticism of the banking industry makes the banks fearful that she will be a tough regulator for Wall Street. They are also wary because of academic writings in which she has proposed substantial overhauls to how banks operate in the U.S. Omarova says the banking industry's opposition is not surprising to her, saying, quote, I think they are worried about having a strong-minded, independent regulator that has studied how risks came into the system in prior years, she told the AP. Omarova continues to receive a strong support from the White House as well as most Senate Democrats.
According to the Associated Press, with Republicans almost assured to be united in opposition, her confirmation will come down to a handful of moderate Democrats, such as John Tester of Montana, Kristen Sinema of Arizona, and West Virginia's Joe Manchin. Both Sinema and Tester are sitting on the bank committee. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw too.